Star Wars was inspired by me wanting to tell a story that was exciting. You must learn the ways of the Force. I wanted to put it in a context that was easily accessible, so I chose the Saturday matinee serial from the 30s, because one of the interesting things to me about that was that sometimes you come into these stories in the middle, and you never get to see the beginning or the end. So I decided to do one where you were coming in the middle and you go to the end. I've been inspired by all great filmmakers and all great storytellers throughout history. When I was in film school, I gained a fascination with Japanese film, with Kurosawa. Uh, he was my hero, and so his influence was very great on my work at that point. And I'd started out studying anthropology, and I'd learned about mythology and, and eventually went into film. But I was able to sort of use some of my earlier uh, educational experience to help me go through a movie like this. But ultimately, it's the recreation of all these things into a, something that's completely new that makes Star Wars what it is today. Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. The first film was really hard. <laughs> it was painful. It was unpleasant. We never had enough time or enough money. And we were always compromising on everything. And it was a difficult experience all the way around. Certainly has courage. Good will it do us if he gets himself killed. I didn't expect the film to be successful at all. I don't think anybody did. And I was pleasantly surprised and I realized that this was my opportunity to change my situation and take more control of the work that I was doing. Because I was determined to make the three movies anyway. That was my prime motive, so everything I did was to protect myself in a way that I could actually get those three movies made.